Today I'm going to show you some tips for searching the database JSTOR. First, you'll want to create an account on campus. Then you'll want to learn how to use the advanced search boxes and narrow by item type. You'll want to save your article and you want to be sure to cite your database as JSTOR. So in your browser, when you um, pull up JSTOR, you'll see a login button on the top right hand corner. This does not use our typical institutional logins. This has to be a personal login and it can only be created while you're on campus. So you'll want to be sure while you're on campus to go here and create your own login and then you'll have to remember it. We won't be able to recover it for you. And this is the only way when you're off campus that you'll be able to use JSTOR. So when you use it on campus, make sure you create a login, save it somewhere where you'll remember it, and then off campus, you can't use any other passwords. You have to use this personal account that you created from campus. So after you've done that, you're going to want to search in JSTOR. And I'm going to do a sample search. You can um, find history articles, literature articles, lots of different things in the humanities. And I'm going to do a sample search for a literature article. I want to find something written about the novel Never Let Me Go. And the author is Ishiguro, and I'm just going to type it into the regular search box and see how many hits I get. So when I just type in those search words, it actually comes back with almost 400,000 hits, which is way too many to sort through. Now they are sorted by relevance, so the first several things that come back on your results page are pretty relevant. You might want to read them. However, pretty quickly you start sort of coming off the rails and you'll see that what it's actually doing is if any article has any of the words that I typed in this will bring back at that article so this one had the word never this one had the word go there's one down here with the word let and that's why I got so many search results by just typing these words into the search bar. So instead, I'm going to want to use the advanced search. That will let me put in a phrase, never let me go. And then the other field will be an and. So instead of having anything that has any of these words or this word, it will only bring back something that has this phrase and this word, both. And I do not want to list this as an author, even though this is the author of the book that I'm interested in. He is not the author of the article. Most likely I'm trying to read articles that were written about him, not by him. So I want to keep this a full text search and not an author search. Now also from this advanced search screen, you can narrow by item type. So if I only want to read articles, book chapters, maybe pamphlets, but I don't want to read book reviews, I can leave that unchecked and limit my results to just what I want to see. So when I click search, instead of almost 400,000 search hits, I get 39. And these will be much easier for me to scan through and targeted much better to what I actually want to read. When I found something that I want to uh, read and cite, I would recommend you just go ahead and download the article, save it to your computer, so that way you can read it later and you don't have to stress out about maybe needing to go back to JSTOR and trying to find the article again if you need to get it something for your citation. Just go ahead and save it and then you'll have it. And then notice there is a Cite This Item button. It is an MLA 8th edition. However, uh, please do not just copy and paste this. Please try to go ahead and create your own citation and making sure that you give credit to JSTOR as the database. Thank you.